What's up guys, today we're going to be doing the Bedrock module on TryHackMe and we'll be doing some client side certificate SSL authentication as well as some privilege escalation with uh, decoding passwords. Alright, let's get into it. What's up everyone, we got uh, the Bedrock pulled up here on TryHackMe. Scroll down, we got a picture of Fred and Barney. And Barney is setting up an ABC web server and trying to use TLS search to secure connections, but he's having trouble now. Here's what we know. He got a engine X on port 80, and it, which redirects you to port 4040. And there's a TCP socket listening with a simple service to help retrieve TLS credential files, client key, and certificate. There's another TCP uh, TLS helper service listening for authorized connections using files obtained from the above service. And can you find all the Easter eggs? We're basically looking for a couple flags and Fred's password. All right, let's copy this IP address. Let's get our nmap scan going. Scripts and versions. Enter. All right, while that nmap scan is going, we're going to check out this web server. All right, welcome to ABC. Reading through this. Um, all right, so he said uh, Bam Bam tries to set up an SQL database, but looks like it started something else. He said it was from the toilet and over 9,000. So we're looking for a port over 9,000. Might be a non standard port, so we might have to um, adjust our nmap scan a little bit. All right, our nmap scan is back. We've got port 22 with SSH, port 80 some HTTP, HTTP engine X and 9009 which we don't know what it is but it returns a bunch of data to us alright so let's go check out that service on 9009 so netcat our IP address in the port um, welcome to ABC what are you looking for let's hit a question mark there's a help menu unrecognized help so it looks like the secure login service is running on port 54321 and try connecting using SOCAT and it gives you the uh, the command to run a SOCAT. So you, you use the service to recover your client certificate and private key. So let's go certificate, client certificate. And recover our certificate there's our certificate and we can recover our private key and there's our private key so go ahead and copy these put them into some files alright guys so I got our certificate copied in here to the cert file and our private key copied into this key file let's go ahead and get that uh, command they gave us earlier when we hit help so the socat command right here copy paste that in and our key file is actually called just key and our cert file is called cert and our machine IP 10 10 1 20 62 and so this is going to use a uh, socat similar to netcat just more functionality uh, it's going to use socat with a cert and a private key to do uh, SSL TLS client side authentication to the server so hit enter and we are authenticated welcome Barney Rubble is authorized yabba dabba do okay I'm gonna go ahead and type help because I have no idea what this is. Okay, and we get a password hint. And copy that, and for user Barney Rubble. So uh, now we can go check out SSH. SSH um, Barney at 10.10.120.62. RIP address, enter. Yes and copy that password in we just got and we are authenticated to SSH alright so let's go to the home directory 
and we got barney.txt. So copy this flag, go ahead and paste it in. I guys, one of the first commands I always run to kind of check uh, what we got going on is the sudo tack l, which will show us the commands we can run as sudo with the Barney user. And so we can run the cert util command in the user bin directory. So cert util is used to create, create or modify uh, SSL certificates. So we can do cert util spell this right help and we get how to use the tool so generate new key pair um, username full name and we know that Fred is a user on this box so we can go ahead and insert util uh, Fred username and full name will be Fred rubble enter okay obviously we have to run it as sudo all right so that gives us a private key and a certificate and we can probably take this and authenticate to that service just go ahead and save these to some files all right guys, so I got uh, the Fred certificate and the Fred private key saved in these files here. So now we can run that same SOCAT command, except we need to change these to the Fred key and certificate that we just made. And then IP address the same, ports the same, enter. Yabba dabba do, Fred Rubble is authorized. So we'll go ahead and type help again, and we get another password hint. Yabba dabba do. Copy that. And let's go do the SSH. SSH. Uh, Fred. Fred's password. All right, we're logged in as Fred. So um, let's go ahead and sudo tack L again. And now we have Fred may run the following commands on bedrock. All right, so we'll go ahead and try this command. Looks like it's got a, uh, in the root directory, a password.txt file or a pass.txt file. And it's going to be run using base 32 so whatever this is it's going to be encoded with base 32 so enter okay again I got to use sudo all right so now we have a base 32 encoded pass.txt file so we can go decode that with echo copy that in and pipe it to the base32 command and the tag D for decode and now we have this uh, string of characters um, and so you know base32 is capital A through Z and numbers 2 through 7 so if we kind of look at this string right here um, it kind of fits that uh, alphabet uh, the, the base32 alphabet still so we can just go ahead and do that again with the new string, pipe that to the base32 command and the tag D for decode. And now we have a new string which does not fit the base32 alphabet because it has lowercase letters. And so we can try the, uh, looks more like a base64. So base64 this one and pipe. A64, tag D for decode. And now we have a new string. Um, if we go back and look at the hint for here, it's the root pass is a multi encode decode plus crack station. So crack station is a hashing, uh, hash crack uh, website. So we decoded this multiple times. So we can go try and put this into crack station.
crack station right here paste that string in here I'm not a robot oh no okay. and it cracked our password it's MD5 and it is Flintstones vitamins so copy that okay so now we should be able to just uh, switch user to root and copy in that root password and now we're root ID root and let's go to the home directory ls we got root.txt and we got our root flag let's go and get some of these filled in and what is the fred.txt flag Let's go to get the fred.txt flag. I know I'm doing this way backwards. I just get so excited and forget. What is Fred's password? Yabba dabba do. And that's it. We got it. Hey, so that was the Bedrock module on TryHackMe going over SSL certificate client-side authentication. And I hope you liked the video. Give it a like and subscribe. And until next time.